Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Platinum Dongropa V3, Killing Harmony. Killing game. Oh, he said it again! God damn it, Monodam, I'm gonna crush you with this here XSL. Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here XSL. You too, Monotaro? If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you with this here XSL. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. You wanna go, Jabroni? Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll go down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Now, now, now. What? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. Oh, that boy! Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma! Daddy! Where are you, Daddy? Huh? D daddy At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium shut suddenly shut off. Here. Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. Nice. Daddy is so cool. My little cubs. My cute little cubs. You're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate your tire semantics is cause you're all so cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute! In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there! Are you, are you mad at us? Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my cute little cubs! Gah, he is mad! But daddy is still cool even when he's angry! Right. Bobs is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. All right, time for the Dragon Ball Z reference. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally, Super Monokuma 4. <laughs> and that's a Dragon Ball Super reference, so yeah, uh, this came out I think in 2017 and Dragon Ball Super was sort of around like 2015-2016 and so they had Super Saiyan, at the time it was called Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or to, to be to be a Super Saiyan while su a Super Saiyan God, it, would, it was called Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan but then they just changed it to Super Saiyan Blue so it's, it's a funny little product of the times there. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. Also true. It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up! <laughs> a power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Battle of the gods. Anyway... I'm not really mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way! Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. I can't think of any though. If you can't think of any, it's cause there's none worth remembering. But father remembers. 
remembers because he knows everything. This is probably a reference to, but I'm not sure. Maybe like a Metal Gear Solid or something. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma. You know all kinds of useless crap. His daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names and fake news. Ah, huh. okay. Well then, that makes it a bit more obvious who this is referencing. <laughs> <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute, I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute monocubs. What is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Whoa! First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Headmaster? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. The exocells are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. They're mindless, pretty, killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocubs. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? <laughs> what is so amusing? <laughs> it's just, when I said it before, it kind of just, I kind of just phoned it in. And now I feel awkward. I want you students, with your ultimate level talents, to participate in a killing game! Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? huh? You guys don't want to do it? Go to never do of course that. not! Gentlemen not hurt people! And but if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the exocells, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So what do you say if we don't want to die? No, wait, hang on. So do what you say. Yeah, so do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? Who said you guys were friends? No way. You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> You're enemies out to kill each other. Huh? E enemies? We're enemies? Hmm, I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the crap out of me. I gotta beat up Monodem to relieve the stress. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy, instead of a killing game, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid. Who'd want to play a game where no one dies? Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. They're so cute. Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Eh? eh? Hey. Hey. Monofanny, you might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? What are you asking? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. Weapons? Huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? The killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh. Class trials? Okey okay, let us explain. you maggots kill someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, 
then only the Blackhand's killer will receive p p punishment. So cruel. Just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. After the Blackhand is punished, the rest of you'll just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the Blackhand gets off scot free, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woohoohoo! Oh! <laughs> uh, too much! That explanation revealed way too much. You've gotta be more coy! Uh, hang on, sorry, the accent is coming in. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone, you also have to survive the class trial. Should I put this? Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Simply put, it's an execution! Huh? Execution? If you do a crime, you get punished for it! That's like the most basic rule of society! But this is a killing game! So the punishment for murder is a bit more... permanent. Hell yeah! Uh oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains. I bet the kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. <laughs> what, Mono Kid? You already have a boner. <laughs> yeah, I'm so hard right now. Blood, guts, brain. Wow, Mono Fanny just puked. I'm not reading that again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you kids are just so adorable. What? What the hell's cute about that? Well, Alright, I'm over all this boring exposition. Thrills, chills, kills. Let's get this heart pounding, killing skull semester started already. Killing school semester. It's like a game. <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. Huh. Hey, how can you degenerates be so calm? It, it Th this has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie? More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I I'd never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's gonna be a problem. Cause he, the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. Unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Wait, just a minute. Oh. Hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Um. Kaede, 
You shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's nice. No, no, I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get an unbearably that I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about this situ situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall, 16 ultimate students trapped inside, mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons, and new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction, a sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Alright, that was awesome, what an intro. Alright, and now finally the prologue is over, and we can get to chapter 1. So, I'll probably be pausing in just a moment here. The ultimate cold open, and boy was it, man, that went for so long. I got the ultimate gifted juveniles school badge or something like that. <laughs> you get a gift every time, or a present in this case, every time you complete a chapter, including the prologue. Okay, prologue end, and... See the intro for chapter one or okay, I'll leave it right here. Um yeah, alright, so we'll continue next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode four of Les Platinum Dungarupa V3, Killing Harmony. My name is Ultima456, you're the ultimates, and I'll see you next time.